vlog ready so i've just been editing this video and realized i did not film an intro so it just goes straight into me talking about no can but hello welcome to bookmas day I'm not sure what day this will be but hello welcome anyways but i'll just do a cute little vlog like cozy vibes getting ready for christmas so i'm at my no can concert then we are decorating for christmas cute little walks all of the cute cozy stuff so i'm just getting ready for my no can concert i'm literally so excited but i don't know what to wear it's my first concert that i've been to in like years and years and years and i'm kind of like out of the loop with like concert etiquette what people wear now but also it is freezing but i still want to look cute i don't know i think i'm just gonna go with like jeans and a top and probably like a jacket a leather jacket or something don't really know but i literally can't wait i'm so excited i'm going with my friend sophie and her friend so there's the three of us going and I literally just can't wait. I was saying it in another vlog because I think I'm going to put this separately. But I've seen some TikToks of like his show a few days ago. I think it was his first one in the UK, which was in Leeds. And it just looks so good. So I'm literally, I, like, I can't wait. So I'm going to get dressed because I think Sophie is coming soon. And then I'll just touch up my makeup and my hair and stuff because my hair is a little bit of a mess. But I feel like I don't want to like do loads to it because I feel like it's going to end up dropping out anyways. If people are like all warm and sweaty and disgusting my hair will probably just end up going frizzy anyways so the most important thing right now is getting changed i mean i could literally just leave this on put some like leggings on or something and try and make it a cute fit but i think i'll maybe just get changed i'm thinking white top jeans either brown or black leather jacket a very basic outfit like literally something that i would wear on the regular anyways but i want to be comfy and i know that it's gonna look cute because it does all the time so I think this is just what I'm going to go with. Literally just a plain white top and jeans and Jane put my new balance on. No, probably my new balance and then either a black or a brown leather jacket. I'm kind of leaning towards black just because then I can wear a black bag as well. I think I'm going to go with the black. I feel like it just looks so boring. And then I need to put my new balance on there downstairs. I'm just going to do this little bag. Is she cute or is she boring? I can't decide. Maybe both. Maybe she's cute and boring. But I think I'm actually going to leave my headband on. Which is a bold choice for me because the size of my forehead <laughs> is no joke. Um, but I'll probably end up tying it up anyways. I'll put in a clip or something. So I may as well just go with a headband. And I think she looks kind of cute. So... This is the fit. I am literally so excited. I'm gonna go and grab some food and stuff first before we go there because it is in Newcastle, so we need to drive there. I'm really excited. I can't wait to hear what my favourite song is. What can I not wait to hear? Can't wait to hear the view between villages and homesick. Literally can't wait. They're gonna be so good. So let's go. I'm gonna go and wait downstairs and finish reading a little bit of my book because I got to like 30 pages left. And I was like, shit, I need to get ready. I'm reading fourth wing. That's probably been about five different videos as well because I'm filming. In the last few days, I filmed three separate videos, I think. So my brain is boggled, but yeah. So I'm gonna go downstairs and wait and read a little bit and then we will go. I don't know what clips I'll get, but hopefully I'll get a few videos there, like at the gig of him singing. And I'll insert them, but if I don't, sorry.
day after the no concert oh my god it was so good literally he was insane the crowd was like so nice obviously he was unreal live like he sang some of my favorite songs the set list and everything was just perfect it was just such a good night i literally loved it like i would go and see him next week again if i could i did cry which i feel like we shouldn't be surprised at i cried at you're gonna go far call your mom the view between villages he basically like went off stage you know and like the way and then they come on and do an encore so he hadn't sang the view between villages and he went off and then obviously came back on for the encore and then he said, I thought he said he was only going to do like two more songs. And I knew that like Stick Season would be one of them. But I really wanted Homesick and I really wanted The View Between Villages. So I was like, I'm going to be at a loss no matter which one he sings because I want both of them. And I thought that he had said that he was only going to sing two songs. And then he went into The View Between Villages, which I was, oh my God, it was literally like therapy and a spiritual awakening all in one. It was insane literally a life altering experience hearing that live like there was something about hearing your favorite songs live that is just insane to me and then being with like a best friend and i don't know just the vibes were so good but he sang that and then i was like shit he said that he's only gonna sing two songs i thought he did anyways um and obviously he's gonna sing stick season because it is stick season tour and then he did sing Six Season and I was so upset. Then he changed his guitar and we were like, whoa, we must be getting another song. And he ended on Homesick and I, a part of me died. It was just so good. And I ordered some merch because we were gonna get merch whilst we were there, but the line was so long. So we were like, we'll literally just order it online. So hopefully that will be coming soon. And hopefully I'll be able to show you that in this video as well. But I just thought I would give you a little roundup for everybody that likes him. If you have no idea who he is, then I apologize for this part of the vlog. Because I've probably talked about him a lot. Well, you should go and listen to him because he is cool and very good and amazing live. So, literally loved it. So, I've popped into town to do a little bit of Christmas decor shopping. I don't really need anything in specific, but I'm kind of wanting some candles. I do already have my bed in, so I don't need that. Maybe if I can find like a cute blanket, cute mug, some little throw pillows and if I just see any cute little decor bits. So, let's go. Okay, so I secured the Christmassy goods. It's actually quite funny to me because when I'm filming this, it is literally not even the end of November yet. Like today, it's literally the 19th of November. So we aren't even in the month of December yet, but obviously Bookmas is a lot. It's a video day for 12 days. So I needed to be prepared, but I do enjoy getting into the festive spirit early anyways. So I got my Christmassy little goods. I'm gonna give you some mini home decor slash Christmas kind of haul. Got two rolls of wrapping paper. Brown wrapping paper is forever and always my favourite. I just think it looks so cute. This one has a little teeny tiny foiled gold Christmas trees on. Love that. Of course, I had to get some candles. So I went to Asda and I got the gingerbread cookies one. It smells heavenly. Very cute. It's kind of like, are these meant to be like dupes of the Bath and Body Works ones? Don't know. Well, the little print on it is really cute. I got one for the autumn from them with like leaves and pumpkins on and that was really nice and then in home bargains i found this one and this was only like £2.50 i think they do kind of smell very similar this one is spiced gingerbread so pretty much the same scent but i love like a gingerbread scent in the autumn especially winter around christmas time just obsessed and again this is so cute i think these are meant to be the dupes for the bath and body works ones actually but £2.99 heavenly so I love them. They would be very cute and aesthetic around my room. Then going back to Asda, I got this cute little Christmas tree. It is a candle, but I probably won't light it. Just have it as like a little decor. And then I also got this cushion from Asda too. Just white with little trees on. So like these ones are like 
obviously kind of like 3D. And then there's, I guess, a 3D also, but I mean like, them ones are like tufted and those ones are embroidered. I thought this was really cute because I do have a like green and white Christmas tree bedding, which I'm gonna put on soon. And I thought this would just be cute because I obviously loved my pumpkin one, also from Asda for the like Halloween autumn, which kind of has to go now that we are getting into December. But I just thought this was really cute. It's obviously Christmassy without being, dare I say, tacky because I am a lover of all things neutral. And then I'm a sucker for a mug. I love a mug. Got this one from B&M with little candy canes on. I got one from Asda in the autumn with little pumpkins on and toadstools and that was really, really cute. I will say that the Asda one feels better quality than this one. This one feels very thin. So I'm hoping that she doesn't like smash or crack when hot water's in it. By the way, she's cute. And then I also got this one, little mistletoe one. How cute, bringing the festive vibes. And then I did also get this one, but she's not very festive, but I just thought that was too cute to miss up. I love a good mug. I think I will maybe decorate fully and like change my bedding, get the Christmas bedding on and stuff tomorrow because I do have a little bit of stuff I want to do today. I'm going to kind of like tidy up and everything today, ready to put the fresh Christmas bedding and the little Christmas decor bits up tomorrow. We are just about to head off on a cute little walk. We're going to actually go to somewhere new. We haven't been there before. Somebody at Will's work actually recommended it. So we're going to go there. I think there's a little cafe there at the place. But well, hopefully it'll be cute. We're going to take Willow. I'm going to change this to my Christmas bedding. She is so cute. That's from Asda, that's from Asda. I think they are also from Asda actually. Mm -hmm. 